girls our age down here? Girls make me feel like I gotta go to the bathroom and cry at the same time. Well, there aren't. That means when we get older, we're not gonna have any girlfriends or wives or mistresses or ex-wives, anything, and then we'll die alone. Me and Sly can be your girlfriend. <sighs> Why'd you leave? You came on too strong. You always do. I don't even know what that means. Me neither. So... You want to be my girlfriend? Okay. <sighs> Damn it, Steve. Can't you do anything right? Poor bird. Hit the trailer and all that's left is this egg. Well, you won't die in vain. I'll keep your baby warm and raise it as me own. Die! <laughs> Lucille Ball's ovaries! Alan Alder's urethra! That seems odd, even for Sid. Somebody should take him to see the paramedics. That seems odd, even for Sid. I should take him to see the paramedics? There you go. This is boring. I want to play real golf. Bjorn, build me a golf course. After you get these balls. Oh, Sarah, certainly is a beautiful day. Every day is beautiful if you push your problems so far down inside you they go away. Look, Sarah, here's the thing. You're alone and you don't have a lot of romantic prospects. Look around at your choices. Uh. Violent biker. My morbidly obese cousin. And those guys. Here comes the train. <laughs> choo, 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 choo. <laughs> You just drove my happy car straight into Hurdy Town. It's okay. I have a solution to your problem. Why don't you go out with me? That's a sweet thought. But sweet things can give you a cavity. And dating you would be a moral cavity. Sorry, Jake, but no. <clears throat> okay, now you do me. Why is Bjorn cutting down trees? A good-looking muscular man is doing heavy labor and sweating. There is no need to care about why. Now, Vaya is stupid. Oh, Vaya, Vaya, you are wrecking my view. Valerie Putinelli's fallopian tubes. Sis, you're up. Mojito me. Al Waxman's frenulum. He's displaying all the symptoms of sitcom Tourette's. Is that a real disease? As real as Carol's long history of bad decisions with men. My prom date was 30 years older than me, and he was my dad's boss. <laughs> 
The book says it makes people yell the name of a sitcom actor followed by a clinical term associated with the reproductive system. I've never heard of it before. Me neither, but that doesn't mean much. I only found out about diabetes like a week ago. It's so freaky, all about sugar and everything. The disease is rare, but there have been a few well-documented cases. Dick Van Dyke's Cowper's Glad! Related to head trauma. And like most medical problems, if you do nothing, it'll probably fix itself on its own. The human body is a miraculous thing. But what if it doesn't? Maybe we could try to reset his wiring by hitting him on the head over and over. Won't that kill him? Either way, it'll be over. So, even though we never talk or anything, maybe we could go steady? Be boyfriend and girlfriend. Thanks, Jake. But I already got a boyfriend. See, here's a picture of him. He comes to visit me when I'm sleeping, and he's got a really nice car. Except he keeps crashing it because his horsey legs get all tangled in the pedals. Right. Blown off by a freak for a drawing of a made-up thing. Oh, why can't you and my daddy get along? Anyway, I'll see you in a few minutes. <clears throat> That's it. Shot down again. There's not enough girls down here. Not enough girls, my fanny. The problem is you're a stupid, brainless idiot who doesn't know how to properly court a woman. But... Zip it, short pants. Never interrupt a lady. You want to learn? Be at my place tomorrow at 6 a.m. Sharp. But... Shut up. I'm running the show now. 6 a.m. You two morons, too. Betty White's oviduct! No, but I do have some Deb Broad's kidney. She was a pilot, but obviously not a great one. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Who made it here? You're late. We came as fast as we could. We're just slow. Even teacher says so. You don't show up to woo a girl looking like a ruffian and smelling like some immigrant dock worker. Go home, wash yourselves, comb your damn hair, and don't come empty-handed. Bring flowers. I'm afraid you have to play the ball where it lies, dear. Or you can take a drop and a penalty stroke. I'm fine. I'll play the shot. That was a practice swing. Doesn't count. Another practice swing. Do over. A clear case of racism. Incredible! It's bad enough they injured Sid, but now they're putting brains that do work at risk. Oh, I miss it, Norm. The fresh air, the sense of competition, pretending the ball was the head of one of my betrayers and relishing the sound of the club hitting it! I need to play golf. No chance. It's the Manderbelts. They hate us, and they know we don't like them. They know that? How? Remember what happened on Halloween? I hate you! <laughs> they interpreted that as hate? Fine. I guess I'll just have to make nice so I can golf. See this here bear? He used to be a wild animal. Now he does whatever the hell I tell him. And he knows damn well it best get done right and quickly. I did that to a bear. I can do it to you, too. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma I didn't hear you, Wendell. Yes, ma'am. That's more like it. Now, here are the rules. You show up dirty, you'll get a smack. Hair too long, you get a smack. Not brushing your teeth, you get a smack. Cussing out loud, you get a smack. Cussing in your head, you get a smack. Trust me, I'll know. Otherwise, you're ready to learn how to court a girl. So what do we do first? The first thing I need to see is how you losers ask a lady out on a date. Hi, want to go out? I brought you flowers. Put them in a jar quick, cause they bite! <laughs> Would you be so kind as to accompany me for a walk so we might enjoy this beautiful day? That was fine. Then why did you slam the door? A lady always plays hard to get. Only a hooker or Frida says yes the first time someone asks her out. That broad's had more hands on her than a poker table. Now all of you go home and take another bath and comb your damn hair again. We're starting over. But why? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to. I'm the girl. Beverly, Reginald, I was wondering if I might have a word with you. 
I don't see why either one of us would want something like that. Oh, I, I think we all just got off on the wrong foot. I'm sure if we spent some time together, we'd all realize we could be friends. Perhaps, um, over a game of golf? The club is restricted. Your kind isn't welcome. What my wife is saying is that the club is members only. The subtext is, she doesn't like you. Is this because of the pumpkin? It didn't help. Okay, so how does one become a member of the club? An existing member must sponsor you. And since my husband and I are the only two members, you may find it difficult to get someone to support your application. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess money can't buy not sucking. <laughs> Look how frustrated Reginald's getting. His unhappiness brings me joy. Hmm, I bet Reginald would love to have a male companion to play golf with. Oh, good plan, Norm, except for one fatal flaw. You're worse at golf than Beverly, and she's terrible. I know. I also know that a real man is able to admit his shortcomings and know his strengths. Uh-huh. All I'm saying is I'd like to see George Clooney do a quadratic equation. Who do you think would be laughing then? Just tell me the plan, Norm. A gentleman always pulls the chair out for a lady. <laughs> not far enough, dum-dum. We're not all half-starved, boobless supermodels. A gentleman always lets the lady sit first. The lady gets to order first. The lady gets served first. You don't eat until she starts. Don't talk. Your job is to listen. When the meal's over, get out your wallet and pay. Wow. That sounds really fair. Isn't it kind of old-fashioned for the man to pay for everything? Women who pay for their share have no self-respect. They're vixens and men who let them pay are dandies. I sure as tootin' ain't a vixen, and there is no way I'd ever be seen cavortin' around town with a dandy. <laughs> it's almost 7 o'clock. Take me home. If you see a woman on the street after 7 p.m., she has VD and a drug problem. Same time tomorrow. And bring a gift! Hitting the links again, Reginald? Yes. Why do you ask? I used to play some golf myself. Used to get stuck playing with the wife. Nag, nag, nag. <laughs> I think she only played so she'd have an excuse to buy more clothes. <laughs> Beverly has enough golf shoes to open her own store. Not that we would. Retail is beneath us. No smoking cigars in the cars. No drinking scotch in the cars. No making wisecracks about the breasts of other men's wives. <sighs> it makes you long for the good old days. Not too old, though. Just that brief window between when black men were allowed to play, but women weren't. Well, enjoy your round. Wait. Would you like to play a round? I'd love to. Oh. But rules are rules, members only and all that. What Beverly doesn't know won't hurt her. Consider yourself the newest member of the club. Tea off tomorrow, 9 a.m.? Wouldn't miss it. <laughs> To help me find a gift for Widow. She's my only hope if I'm ever gonna get a girlfriend. Yay, I found Daddy! Ted Danson's Epididymus! Can you believe someone threw this out? Why you want that, Mr. Vernon? I'm working on a project. What are you guys doing? We's helping Jake get a girl. <sighs> Here's everything you need to know about girls. They never tell you what they really mean. I'm not hungry. I Means she's starving, but she doesn't want you to think she's a pig. Stop taking clothes from my clothesline? Means I love how you're so attracted to me that you want a souvenir. And also sometimes that they really don't like strangers taking things from their clothesline. A judge will eventually tell you which is which. No offense, but why would I listen to you? Because I have a powerful effect on women. Watch. Hey, doll. I was thinking... Okay. Starting right now. See? Powerful. If I don't get a girlfriend, I'm gonna end up just like him. According to the club charter, a member can sponsor a new member. I pick Sheila. I won't stand for this, Reginald. Do something about them while I hit. Uh, I would use a driver. They're called chauffeurs. And I'll play in my own shot, thank you very much. God, you really are a stupid woman. Ugh. One round won't hurt, dear. We can amend the club charter at a later date.
You're up, Norman. <laughs> well, that won't be too hard to find. You're horrible. I was led to believe you were adept at this game. I thought we were talking about Minipot. It was a reasonably honest mistake. Not bad. I'm a little rusty. Not bad indeed. I have an idea. Why don't Reginald and I play through and you two <laughs> can catch up with us later at the clubhouse? I think it's your shot. Well, you're not as disgusting as you were. I'd say congratulations, but I ought to congratulate myself. Ah, what the hell. Congratulations. We did it! We're the first ones in our family to ever do anything! Now, let's see if you can apply what I taught you. Jake, who's gonna be the lucky lady? Christine Manderbilt, I guess. Gold digger, huh? Good for you. What about you two idiots? We're kind of fighting over the same girl. It can't be your sister. I guess it's plan B. You're the only student I got left, Wendell. Don't screw it up. Nice job. <laughs> Watch your mouth. In my income bracket, job is a dirty word. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly and Norm are getting along. I mean, I love Norm and all, but playing golf with him is just so frustrating it makes me wish the game was never invented. Oh, tell me about it. If the Special Olympics had a golf team, Beverly would be cut after the first tryout. I wonder what her handicap would be. <laughs> what a delightful golf joke and play on words. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Beverly. That one went up in the air and everything. I'm not used to that tone. It's a compliment. I was being nice and offering encouragement. That's your best shot today. How did you do it? I just closed my eyes and thought of something that made me mad. Your wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give it a try. God, I hate rabbits! Look at me! I'm Tiger Woods. And I'm that oddly tall Asian girl whose parents pushed her too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pristine. These are for you. Wow, thanks, Jake. They're pretty. I guess, but not as pretty as you. Aww. I did it! A perfect 12! I never knew golf could be so much fun. It makes a huge difference when someone's not yelling at you and calling you names. Mind if we play through? It's only because we're better than you guys. So much better. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're here for the stupid game. So, where's Royce? Neither Golf nor Royce are for you. Stop thinking about both of them immediately. This is a private golf course. Members only. Oh, she's a member. I sponsored her. I hope you don't mind. And then I sponsored Hiko. In some movie, I saw Japanese dudes love golf. He's a stereotype. Well, sometimes stereotypes are true. For example, I would not be in this canyon if I was a good driver. Is this where we play bangy ball? I also sponsored the Butanes. I thought it'd be fun to have more members. Jennifer Aniston cervix! This is unacceptable. The whole point of having a club is to relish in the joy of refusing to let lesser people join. If we are equals, then who will envy me? She needs to be envied. It's part of her beauty regime. When it fails to be exclusive, it fails to be fun. I quit. Well, don't just stand there. Throw my clubs while I look outraged. Don't be silly. This one's on me. Jake, you've been so sweet all night. You brought me flowers? A great gift. Yeah, your mom got angry about something and now she's not using them anymore. And now you're paying for dinner? I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Uh. What? What happened? Was it a bat? I, I can kill it if you want. You tried to kiss me. I know. I did all that great stuff for you, so I just figured we could kiss. Jake, I like everything you did. But that still doesn't mean I like you, at least not like that. Sorry.
Look, Ms. McGurk, thanks for trying and everything, but I guess it's just me. No girl wants to kiss me. I don't teach failures. Keep your hands at your sides and don't even think about opening your mouth. So, what do you think? I don't think I'm ready for a girlfriend. Kind of tastes like menthol and bitterness. Yeah, life will do that to you. Anyway, you're welcome. He'll be back. Son of a bitch! He gets kissed and I get nothing? Life, you have screwed me for the last time! Michael J. Fox's vast deference! Candace Bergen's endometrium! Ray Romano's testes! He ain't never been this bad before. So many people and things I never heard of. Oh, what's that then? A good old-fashioned game of furniture tag? Look, he's cured! Cure it! <laughs> Okay, just one quick drink and I'll be right back. I really should go. I've got a coma patient tied to a tree out front. We all do in one way or another, don't we? I mean, inside. What's the hurry? He's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why I'm laughing! I didn't hear what you said! Oh, man, is it raining? Coming down harder than my boots on a stoolie's face. Man, it's always something. If he drowns, I'll never hear the end of it. That ought to do it. You're welcome. What did I miss? Oh, I fell down again. Oh, damn it to hell. 